Hello, my name is Sergei Varashtsov and today I would like to consider a chess game between um, uh, between Marshall and Levitsky and uh, Marshall is black and the game was played in uh, Breslau in 1912 uh, so this is very famous and very beautiful game and let's let's see how it went Okay, so here white uh, puts pressure on e6 pawn. Uh, black plays uh, queen d6. So here black uh, puts... Um, uh, kind of pins this um, knight on c3 so uh, white takes uh, knight uh, black retakes with a rook So here bishop takes knight, uh, pawn takes bishop, and uh, queen takes uh, pawn on c3. And here white plays um, uh, rook takes uh, on d5, takes pawn on d5. So uh, white cannot take, uh, take the rook because um, Queen e8 check. Uh, the only move is um, rook f8, and then uh, bishop check, uh, king h8, and uh, queen f8 mate. So, um, uh, so this rook is untouchable. Okay, so black played. Um, uh, therefore, black played knight uh, d4, attacking white's queen, queen um, h5, uh, black doubles rooks, and, um, okay, uh, rook e5. And here uh, black plays excellent move for rook uh, h6, attacking queen. Uh, white's queen h5, g5. And here, um, bl here black can take uh, this bishop on um, h3 because. Um, if pawn takes a uh, rook, then then uh, it's a col collective fork on both um, queen and rook. So uh, uh, so um, white white cannot take uh, black's rook. And here white played um, a rook. Um, c5 and here well one should be clear that um, white is already uh, knight down so um, uh, white is losing here but um, but in any case um, uh, in this position 
Black has a just wonderful and stunning move um, Queen uh, Queen G3 um, This is considered one of uh, the most beautiful moves uh, in the history of chess So um, uh, so what's, let's consider what's going on here. Um, um, let's feel, let's consider uh, responses, different responses for for white. So uh, first of all, about rook, uh, white cannot take the rook because um, because of discovered check. So uh, what white can do here, and what is a threat? Uh, if uh, white just makes arbitrary move, let's say rook a5, then um, the threat is uh, queen takes h h2 mate. So um, uh, white has to eliminate uh, black's uh, black's queen, and there are three ways to eliminate black's queen. Okay, let's consider first first uh, first possibility. Pawn takes a uh, queen, but then uh, knight knight e2 mate. So uh, the other possibility is to take with the other pawn. Uh, F pawn takes queen. Then uh, the same move uh, knight uh, knight uh, e2 check, and the only legal move white has is to uh, is king h1 and then uh, rook takes rook mate so that uh, that um, this possibility also leads to mate and there is a, a third possibility um, a queen takes queen in this case uh, black should uh, proceed as follows uh, knight uh, again nine, knight e2 check uh, so here the only move is uh, king h1 and then knight um, takes um, uh, takes on g3 check and okay this pawn cannot take knight if this pawn takes knight then uh, rook takes rook mate so uh, in this situation uh, the only possibility to avoid mate is to move king to uh, g1 and then um, knight takes rook uh, here why the best move for white is um, pawn takes rook and um, well, one can play, let's say, knight to d2, and here one can clearly see that uh, black is uh, knight up and um, has a winning endgame. So that was a just uh, stunning, stunning play by uh, Frank Marshall.